scientists the world over are studying the ancient medicinal spice and unraveling its unique molecules. Its complexity is astonishing. A molecule of particular interest is diosgenin, a phytoestrogen, a plant steroid found in fenugreek seeds, very similar to the female hormone estrogen. Estrogen is responsible for development and regulation of the female reproductive system and secondary sex characteristics. Fenugreek is a woman's friend. Diosgenin is also used to synthesize progesterone, the hormone that prepares the female body for pregnancy and if pregnancy occurs, maintaining it until birth. Atoms combine in myriad forms, creating versatile and varied molecules. A unique combination of hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen is 4-hydroisoleucine, an amino acid that acts on the liver, the largest organ in the human body, producing nearly a thousand enzymes for varied jobs in the body. The goodness of fenugreek also lies in its high-quality fiber. Fenugreek contains a lot of soluble and insoluble fiber. Most of the normal fiber raw materials will have either insoluble or soluble fiber. Whereas this is having a balanced, uh, more, almost equal amount of soluble and insoluble fiber. Nearly 20 to 30 percent of fenugreek seeds is fiber. Of these, galactomannan, a soluble fiber, is of interest. It adds bulk to food, tasteless by itself, no aroma, no bitterness, but an important role. Once it reaches the intestines, it soothes them, forming a thin layer around our food and slowing down digestion to a healthy rate. While ancient physicians and philosophers did not know what lay inside the seeds, they understood its effect on body. Persian physician and philosopher Avicenna, legendary for his understanding of human body and health, he is recognized to be the first to use fenugreek to address the problem of diabetes, then described as the great emptying of urine. He treated diabetes using a mixture of fenugreek with other seeds. Diabetes, an epidemic in today's time. Type 2 diabetes or diabetes mellitus is a global cause of concern. Our food gives us energy. Energy needed for all functions. Our food is broken down into glucose and released into the blood to be carried to all cells. This is the energy that enters the cells with the help of insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas. In a patient of diabetes type 2, the body is unable to produce or use insulin. The result, high levels of glucose or sugar in the blood, while cells are deprived of energy. This imbalance leads to the vicious cycle of obesity, high cholesterol, organ damage, even nerve damage. The symptoms and effects are many and serious. The bitter spice in the spice box is bringing hope. Several studies all over the world have hailed fenugreek as a champion. I would rate fenugreek as number one spice towards diabetes. 